pink and green pineapple with, look at how pretty this is. This is from Boucler in Canada. I actually have a couple of these, but I just think they're so pretty. And again, the leaves remind you of tropical, and I've added some florals in there. And then I've just added this piece. I use this piece all the time here from um, Pier One. I just think it's pretty. I put everything into white trays to keep, you know, sort of the light and the airy look of a tropical scape added my beautiful flamingo that my girlfriend Sheila bought me for my birthday last year. I just, I just adore it and of course perfect to use in the summer, isn't it? And then notice in this tray here, I've added some jewels because in my world, a tropical vacation needs to have some fun, fun jewels. So this is my tropical scape with a really pretty little candle in here as well. This candle just smells absolutely glorious. So it's, you know, it's nice. It also lets me bring a little bit of my gold in because, you know, if you watch my channel that I, I always like to have a little bit of gold in every uh, vignette or at least in most of them. So this is my tropical coffee table scape. Now I'm going to take you and show you an entirely different coffee table and I'm going to give you something that is not traditional, traditionally coastal at all, but it is my version of coastal. So what I think of coastal, I probably think the same thing that you do, lots of blues and whites and boats and that sort of thing and seashells. Well, in Canada, our coast is a little different. And so initially I thought, should I go East Coast? Should I go West Coast? My husband is from the East Coast. He's from Nova Scotia. And I certainly could have done a nod to Nova Scotia. But I decided that I would go West Coast to Victoria, British Columbia. It is really one of my favorite places in Canada. And if you take a look at the picture behind me, this is very Canadiana. We use this picture in our family room really as a window. And my husband loves this picture because it reminds him of the water. It reminds him of the cottage that we used to have in the Muskokas in Ontario. And you know, this is Canadiana at its best. So now I'm going to show you what I've done with my coffee table. So my coffee table is a nod to the Bouchard Gardens. Now I'm going to link because they do have a YouTube channel. It is, in my mind, the best gardens in Canada. It's absolutely just a joy to go and spend a whole day, you know, walking through those gardens. And so what I've done is, you know, I've tried to make it the flowers that might be out in about now. They would have lots of hydrangeas. They would have some roses out, so you'll see the roses here. You know, there's lots of pinks and greens and obviously other colors as well. In, in that particular garden, there's also a beautiful whole area of a Japanese garden. And I don't really have anything Japanese, but I just want you to know that piece because I certainly could have added that in as well. And of course, I've added a beautiful candle and some little starfish for a little bit more of a nod to coastal. Now, let me switch something out and you'll understand when you come back. So my husband and I are big time gardeners. We're working away in our garden. I hope to, to bring you a garden tour when it's ready, when I feel that it's ready. My husband is, is doing a couple of major projects in our backyard, so it's not ready quite yet. But part of the reason why I decided I would do a coastal theme is because I wanted to tease you a little bit with the flowers that I pulled out of our garden. There's some peonies in here. There's some irises. Obviously, I also have um, some, you know, hosta leaves. And I do have a little bit of hydrangea in there as well. Now in Canada this year, at least in southwestern Ontario, we had snow 
on May the 11th. That's not normal for us. So our garden is quite behind and our peonies have finally, finally begun to bloom. And our irises, of course, are almost done. But you may also be wondering why I have a teapot and cream and sugar sitting as part of this vignette. Well, another that one of the things that I love about Victoria, BC, and this is right off the water, is the Empress Hotel, where my husband and me and our daughters went for high tea. We had the most splendid afternoon um, in this gorgeous old hotel. It, they're CN hotels, and they're called, and this one in particular is called the Empress. It's a beautiful hotel. So I hope that when this pandemic is over and when you can travel again, that you consider coming to Canada and going to Victoria, British Columbia, going to the Bouchard Gardens, going for tea at the Empress Hotel, because I know that you are going to love it there. So I also hope that you subscribe to this channel and to Suli's channel, that you also take a look at the other participants' videos in this challenge, because I know you're going to love what you see, and please consider subscribing to them as well. And so until next time and next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I know it will be on my regular upload day, which is Friday. I want to get back to that. I may sort of step out of that a couple of times this summer because I've been invited to a couple of other challenges as well, and I'm thinking about how I can make those work. Um, so until next time, bye-bye. Share this video with people who love decor as much as we do.